Friday was out. The gunsmith was in. And I was in deep. You can't fault someone for thinking the only way out is forward. So I pressed on. In the wrong direction. Head to the globe. Got an update for you, boss. You will reign supreme in that one. These were amazing. The bomb, the weed, the Stark Industries trademark spear blast tech. This thing is so cool, I want to be its onboard AI. <laughs> You've got bigger boots to fill, pal. Ghost calls these whites some kind of prankster spirit. I'm not a fan of their sense of humor. They set you up for a great punchline when their energy draining beams snag you. If they want the iron suit so bad, give it to them. Go ahead swinging. Looks like Ghost mounted a ventral draining beam to the undercarriage. Probably courtesy of Arthur Park. The laser's cool, but her integration into the chassis is masterful. Quite a team. I gotta hand it to Ghost. She spiced up my most vanilla weapon. She cloaked an aerial mine and gave it a freaking gravity well. <laughs> Wish I had a gravity well. Fancy seeing you here. What have you got? The world at my fingertips. Check this out. Any of these hotspots lead us to Ghost? Nah, complete radio silence from her. But check it. I put together some combat challenges for you. Nothing basic about this training. Our enemy's still out there. And we'll find her. In the meantime, why don't you let off some steam? Come on. Go blow stuff up. You'll feel better. This is a timed combat trial, boss. Down a lot of drones fast. Got it.
The gunsmith was helping me in the field, but he was helping himself even more. As my arsenal grew, so did his ego. And I had to wonder, would this have been me if I had never ended up in that cave? No time to waste, boss. See me at the Globe when you can. Hey, boss. Good news incoming in five, four, three. As it turns out, our friend Arthur Park is sloppy. He leaves behind a trail of photonic residue wherever he goes. Now, it's not entirely his fault. He is, in fact, a living laser, and as such, it can be difficult for him to maintain a low profile. However... Spare me the back of the napkin. 
Okay, okay. Using our infrared satellites, I discovered Park's unique energy signature. Here. It's a Roxxon mining facility. Roxxon? You think Park is working with one of my competitors? <laughs> no! He's working with Ghost. They're planning a heist. My orbital laser wiped out half her army. She'll need more drones. To build more drones, she needs... Palladium. Exactly. And Roxxon's sitting on the mother load. Hmm. Grab your gear, boss. Let's go crash their party. All right, it's killing time. Hey, we're not killing anything, you hear me? Ugh, you're killing my buzz. Listen, gunsmith, I need you steady and on point out there. <sighs> Look, boss, I talk a lot because that's how you built me. But at the end of the day, I got you. We're cool. Systems check. Stand in our servos. Nothing I can't handle. We should be coming up on the Roxxon mining operation. Keep the collateral damage to a minimum. Oh, seriously? Roxxon will sue Stark Industries. Pepper doesn't need that hassle. Well, gee, mister, we're only trying to apprehend a terrorist and her thieving cohort, but shucks, we best not break anything. Just watch it, okay? Sloppier than a soup sandwich, Ghost. Hate to say it, but Arthur Park glows in the dark. I told you, Park's dead. It's living laser now. Park, don't you have something you should be doing? Stealing palladium? <laughs> How utterly predictable. Hurry up, Park. I can't hold it much longer. Uh, Park's levitating the palladium cargo containers. If he takes them up into the storm, we won't be able to track him. Let's take him down. No! Seems like that did the trick. Cargo's loose, boss. Not for long. Warm up the magnetic gauntlets. I'll take this. Ooh, good catch, boss. We can seal the cargo containers in the mines. I've hacked the automated cargo over to deposit the container in the mine. Oh, I can just see the angry letter from Roxxon's lawyers now. How dare you secure our property from theft? Park, what's going on? I've got this. Just have to focus. Do it already. The drones will keep Star busy. You're wasting your time, Iron Man! Ah! Keep him off me! When did you become such a lightweight? <laughs> lightweight? Listen to these two. Nailed! Suits and 
bad shape, boss. You should stand down. Last of the Palladium? It looks like it, boss. Rest is just unprocessed ore. Let's lock it up then. If you can close that mine door, we can seal it shut. This will keep Ghost from hacking it open again. He took out your drones, Ghost. Yeah, I can see that, Park. We're moving on. There's another depot down the canyon. We'll get what we need there. I'll quit when you do. Pick up the pace, Ghost! They're gaining on us! You're the reason they found us in the first place. Wow! They are like an old man. I'm losing her, boss! We need to keep up! I'm trying! Or her! If we lose her here, we lose! Look out, boss! Ghost to the lady she needs. Quick, boss, grab the cargo before laser reforms. Suit's damaged, boss. Your beam's charged. Help with your luggage? Safe! These guys aren't as tough as I remember. Maybe with me, you're just better. That Grave Runner could be a problem. If she steals my design and slaps her own name on it, I had eyes on you. It's so hard. Ghost, I don't think this temp you hired is working on it. Down. Lift your legs. 
things, not your laser. Yeah, that's enough sports metaphors, pal. How is Stark beating you, Park? First of all, it's living laser, okay? It's frustrating having to belabor that point. Second, this takes a lot of concentration. What's wrong, laser? Feeling lightheaded? <laughs> Good one, boss. Keep it up, Stark. Tony Stark is dead! We are Iron Laser now! Uh, what channel am I on, boss? Are they getting all my witty retorts? Palladium here? Nah, these chumps are leaving empty handed. Let's seal the mine. Ghost and laser now. Ravening this boss. Chase him. You sure do ruin everything, Stark. Another satisfied customer. Park, you're too close. Stay back. Stop shouting orders at me, Ghost. I'm not your lapdog. It is so hard to find good help. Not today. What's she doing? Are they gonna break? Surrender now, I'll make sure your cell has a window with a view. Oh, yeah. She won't let herself be taken alive. Your narcissistic projection is correct. I'd rather die and take you with me. Oh, good, she can hear me. You have to be faster than that, Stark. Away from home to steal palladium. Like I tell you where home is. Huh. I thought that would work. Roxxon is one of your biggest competitors. You should thank me for targeting them. I don't care who you're targeting. You're putting lives at risk. do 
this away from innocent people? You are the one forcing this fight. Be a real hero and don't take the bear. She called in another Grave Runner. It's taking some lumps. Coming through! thought about that before you got all trigger happy. If we can get into that control room and open the sluice gate and relieve the pressure, I have to get this big door open. Oh, there's a chain attached that'll lift it. To start. First, I need to get this thing out of the way. Gunsmith, anchor my feet. Magnetic boots engaged. Doors open. Now I just have to lift that sluice gate. Who cares about the dam, boss? It's Roxxon's problem. I care about the hundreds of workers who will lose their lives if this canyon floods. Oh, let's start a disaster relief fund in their memory. It'd be a relief if you didn't start a disaster in the first place. Wow, that actually worked. It'll hold until Roxxon can get some engineers out here. We can still catch her. Let's go. We need to have a serious talk. I agree. I miss you, boss. Not the Iron Man, the real man. You were a lot more fun before your conscience got in the way of your aim. How are you still here? <laughs> Good title for our memoir, right, boss? Uh, boss? You won't catch me, Stark. That's not how this ends. If you were gonna get away, you'd have done it by now. It's the storm. Fair bet it plays havoc with their suit's phasing tech. Look who's back! Park? What are you doing? What you failed to do, destroy him. You're destroying the last of my drones. Feel the power of a vengeful god! Park's at it again! Shut up. 
I get no huddle with the fire hose. He's not coming back from that anytime soon. He's gone. Scattered. His component photons are still out there, bouncing around that sandstorm. That was reckless. Thank you. Now, in case you didn't notice, Ghost is getting away. Not this time. There she is. This round's on me. Hold your fire. Sorry, boss. But she brought a knife to a gunfight. still hide from us. Yeah, until her air wins. I doubt that suit lets her breathe solid rock. I'm done hiding. That's a lot of ghosts. Scattering my sensors. Can't tell which ones are real and which are holograms. I know a way to find out. She'll tip her hand, boss. Once you find her, you'll have a clear shot. Got it. Don't celebrate yet. Whoa, when you blast the car, these resonances trace back to the origin point. It should be. You'll do anything to silence me. To bring you to justice. Hypocrites. Uh, ouch! Even I felt that one. Yeah. Yeah. Kill a bastard, boss. Kinda got my hands full here. Not to worry, then. she run off to? I'm reading a weak signal nearby. The mask. Toss it. Ghost? We got her dead to rights, boss. She's surrendering. Then she's a fool. Hey, hey! We are not killing her. You don't have to do anything. Hey! Pal! Still doing this for Pepper? Stop! You let her escape! I gave you an order! 
She deserves to die! Where's your hollow projector? Oh, I upgraded to a spatial light modulator. You're always talking about self-improvement, so I decided Enough! to... Gunsmith, you're fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I quit. See you on the other side, jerk. I'm back! And I'm alone. That's right. Maybe I'll give Pepper a call. She always cheers me up. Virginia Potts. I can't take your call right now, but leave a message and I'll get back to you. Well, I am hungry. Perhaps a bite to eat. Oh, empty. Guess Friday always handled the grocery orders. Still superhero work to be done? I'll check out the globe. Doesn't anything work around here? Who are you talking to, sir? Myself. The slightly more mature version. I see. And where's our loose cannon? Uh, Ibiza? Who the hell knows? I thought an AI based on my old self could somehow do the right thing. Maybe, sir. But you're a changed man. Changed enough to have made me not based on you. Or perhaps based on the man you want to be? Well, actually, you were based on an old babysitter. Then she must have been quite special. Yeah. When I was a kid, she was the only grown-up I could trust. And I hope I've earned your trust as well, sir. <clears throat> Friday, I owe you an apology. Maybe more than one. I'll put it on your tab. In the meantime, there's a world that needs saving. Why'd you come back, Friday? Because I know what happens when you're left to your own devices, sir. <laughs> Fair enough. Speaking of that, what's going on here? It's Living Laser. He's attacking S.H.I.E.L.D. But Park's brazenness might be to our advantage since he practically glows in the dark. If I can calculate his energy's rate of decay, I can pinpoint the exact time and place of his origin. We find where Park was reborn, there's a good chance we find Ghost. What do you need from me? Give him what he wants, sir. Fight him.
You're listening to Stark Raving, the show money would listen to if money had ears. We've got a special return guest who specifically asked to come on. Dario Agar, CEO of Roxxon Energy. Mr. Agar, I assume you're here to personally thank the Stark family after my cousin Tony saved Roxxon's palladium mine from complete and utter destruction. I think you mean did enough damage to shut it down for weeks, Morgan. Costing Roxxon billions. Pretty convenient, don't you think? Considering Stark and Roxxon compete for energy contracts. Are you freaking kidding me? If Iron Man hadn't been there, that mine would be shut down permanently. He saved it from Ghost. So he says. All our eyewitness reports indicate is that there were explosions, ray blasts, and bursts of energy everywhere. Uh, listen, Agar. Your people would sell their grandmothers to the salt mines for an extra buck. And they learned that from watching you. You're a dinosaur, pal. And my cousin is the asteroid. Well, that sounds like a direct threat from the Stark family that Tony Stark is out to make us extinct. And judging from the big smiles on the faces of my lawyers, they agree. <laughs> Thank you for giving us the basis to sue Stark Industries, Morgan. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> uh, as if Tony cares. He's got more lawyers than he has mustache hairs. You know what? Bring it on, pal. And, uh, if any of Tony's lawyers are listening, call me, okay? My lawyer's not available. Well, technically, disbarred. <laughs> are focused. Friday, patch me into the comm tower. Maria, everything okay on your end? Hey, Tony. Afraid we got a bit of a nightmare scenario. Arthur Park has himself a laser with global targeting abilities. Don't know what we did to get on his bad side, but he's targeting us. I'll wreck this helicarrier and make it husk my church! gonna happen on my watch. Let's get him, Tony. Mark still has a lot of drones at his fingertips. I'm surprised the ghost let him keep them in the divorce. Speaking of fingertips, sir, Tark's energy signature is all over these drones. If you destroy them... The source is ready to decay back to its origin point? Precisely.
Next challenge. Park. I see you're graduating from theft to wanton destruction. Not wanted. With good reason. The world must learn to fear me. Oh, sorry. I had you all wrong. Totally sane mode. a sample collection meter to your HUD. The more drones you down, the more we can fill the needed sample size. Park's energy signature is collected by your continued attack on those drones, sir. Jet. <laughs> Great work, Tony. Your direct attack on Park resulted in a swift increase in our sample size. Well done, sir. I took no pleasure in it, Friday. I'm doing this for science. Oh, yes, of course, sir. Oh, we'll see my victory. Enemies inbound.
below optimal, but not critical. data this way. will secure us more of his energy signature. I'm on it. Much obliged, Shellhead. We've made great progress, sir. Just a few more drones to gain us enough of a sample. Except he's running out of them. We may need a different approach. That's my concern. The armor has sustained damage, sir. is online. There's no choice. I only need to hit a single structural weak point to bring that entire flying fortress down. He's firing blind, sir. Stay moving. We can't afford to get hit. Normally I'd agree, but he seems to be missing me and the helicarrier by a wide margin. True. He's quite lousy at his job, isn't he? <laughs> sir, another shield jet is caught in one of Park's laser cages. No! Good work, Iron Man. Did we get it? Was it enough, Friday? Not quite, but we're so close. Hill, move your jets into position. That's what I'm talking about. Care to fill me in on this plan, sir? Ew. 
You saved your friend. But my victory is inevitable. No one can stop a god! Await my return with fear and trembling. What kind of god runs away when he's defeated, Park? Park? Living laser! You... You called me by my name? Hill, now! Fire those EMP missiles! Everything you've got! Sir, Park's photonic presence seems to have entirely vanished from Earth. It's as if he's up and quit. Then he's brighter than I gave him credit for. What's more, I've collected enough of his energy signature to trace it back to his place of origin. Sir, we may finally be able to bring the fight to Ghost's door. Good work, Friday. Heading home. With Friday back on board, I felt a renewed drive to catch this ghost. Which hadn't happened yet because I'd left it up to you-know-who. The gunsmith had a knack for predicting where ghosts would show up, but he had no interest in figuring out where she came from. I did. Sir, see me at the Globe as soon as possible. Thanks to you, I was able to determine Living Laser's origin point. By now, it contains only the faintest trace of his energy, but I'm certain he was there once. You think it's Ghost's operating base? It's quite possible, sir. That's great. What are we waiting for, Friday? Show me our new destination. That's just it. It's not... entirely new. Do you recognize it, sir? Yeah, I recognize it. It's the cave. My origin point. Birthplace of Iron Man. Perhaps Ghost has gone somewhere else by now. Moved on. No. She hasn't moved on. And she doesn't want me to either. <laughs> 